Welcome back to all of Santa's reindeer and all his little elves. As promised, here is the video that pertains to the deletion of images created by the AI image generator. If you watched the previous video, then you know that all of the AI generated images can appear in two different locations. The first location is where they were originally created using PowerDirector 365 and can be seen by looking at the My Creations window using the AI image generator. The second location is when you might decide to supposedly download a created image of your choice to have it appear in the AI generated images category that is part of the My Media as viewed on the main editing window. The method of deleting those images will differ depending upon which location you are looking at. Let me first dispel one proposed method that some of the viewers thought was so easy. In the My Media Library, notice the images that now appear there. If I were to right-click on any of them, it's possible to select Remove so, it's that simple, said no one ever. Just remove it? Nope, CyberLink would never make it that easy. When you select the Remove option to PowerDirector, that means to just make it invisible during the current session. As soon as you restart the program, the image comes right back. So, the Remove option is not the answer. I'm now going to jump over to the My Creations window. I'll come back to the images in My Media in just a bit. I'll pick any of these images in My Creations. I'll right click and choose Delete Selected Photos. Notice that when I right clicked on that image, it put a check mark in a small blue square in the upper left corner. If I wanted to delete multiple images all at once, then I could left click on the blue square in each image to be deleted, and it would put a check mark there. Then I would right click on any one of them and choose Delete Selected Photos. I won't do that just yet. Instead, I'll select Clear Selection. Now, for the important question. There is one of the images of the red race car that is sitting in the road at about a 45 degree angle. Notice the colored pop-up tents along the street in the background. This is the one image that was supposedly downloaded and added to the My Media Library. If I were to delete that one image here, would it also remove it from the My Media Library. If you think it would, put a 1 into a comment. Otherwise, put a 0 in a comment. Now, let's try it for real to see what happens. I'll right click on just that image and select Delete Selected Photos. A small window opens telling me that the deletion will be permanent. I'll click on Yes. As you can see, that image no longer appears in the My Creations window. There are now just three images of a red race car. Now let's check the My Media Library to see if it is still there or did it get deleted. I'll close the My Creations window and the Text Prompt window. I'll click on My Media and then the AI generated images category. The image of the red race car is still there. Anyone who entered a zero in the comments was correct. Well, I've answered one question about how to delete images in the My Creation window, but here in the My Media Library, the image still remains. So how can it be deleted? Well, here's the answer. CyberLink actually gives us a clue. If you were to right click on the image, they offer to open up the file location of the image. It uses File Explorer to open a window to the downloaded AI images folder 
that is part of the public user folder in the C drive. Of course, many new users to PowerDirector would be somewhat reluctant to poke around in these user folders, much less a folder that Cyberlink creates and uses as part of the program. But rest assured, this one particular folder can be manipulated by the user without any adverse consequences to the operation of the program. So all you need to do is to select the file of the red car in File Explorer and then hit Delete. Oops, I forgot to mention that you need to first close PowerDirector, then delete the image. I'll close out PowerDirector and then back in File Explorer, I'll delete the file of the red racing car image. I'll restart PowerDirector, then click on My Media, and then AI Generated Images. And just like magic, the red racing car is gone. So there are your answers. Images in the My Creations window can be deleted directly within PowerDirector by the power of the right click. But images in the My Media Library will require you to exit PowerDirector and use File Explorer to manually delete the file. Perhaps in a future update to PowerDirector 365, we might see the Delete from Disk added back into the right click of the library images. Now, coming up next will be a tutorial about using the AI image generator to generate an image based on the text plus face prompts to create a portrait type of artwork. It's very similar to using just a text prompt, but specializes in facial images. Stay tuned for that one. You should be coming an expert in using the AI image generator by now. Your certificate of excellence is in the mail.